Round to the top focus at this hour. Our workers today celebrated the birthday of Jail Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal outside the Tihar Jail. Party workers gathered at Tihar and cut a cake with Chief Minister Kejriwal's photo outside of the jail premises. Several party leaders extended their wishes to Kejriwal, including Manish Sisodia, who was released from jail on the 9th of August. He also did a padyatra from the DDF flats in Kalkaji. And meanwhile, other leaders, including Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi, lauded Kejriwal as the modern-day freedom fighter who was allegedly fighting the dictatorship of the centre. All this comes amidst alleged infighting within the Ahmadmi party. Manish Sisodia has indicated that Sunita Kejriwal's political future, or at least regarding the questions surrounding it, has dismissed it. He has, in fact, said that Sunita Kejriwal's political role could end once the party's supremo Arvind Kejriwal comes out of Tihar jail. Sunita Kejriwal, on several occasions, has served as a bridge between Kejriwal and the party and has also played a crucial role in the AAP's campaigning for Lok Sabha polls in Delhi, Gujarat and Haryana. So I was watching that I was watching TV channel and I was just talking about 5-7 minutes. This TV channel will make the Prime Minister of Sunita Ji. It's just a matter of minutes. It was just a matter of minutes. It was such a fast development. Because I belong to the party. I know how the party works, at least about my party. I knew what was going on or what was going on. If you watch TV, I thought that all the party will be finished. सारे नेता किनारे हो गए बस अब केवल सुनीता जी की मुख्यमंत्री बनने वाली हैं और बस शपथ ही लेने की तैयारी हो रही है किसी भी समय शपथ का अनाउंस करने वाले हैं लोग जैसे संजय सिंह जी और मनीष सोदिया जी इनकी तानाशाही की अहंकार की दीवारों को तोड़कर न्यायालय में जाकर सच्चाई की जीत हासिल करके बाहर आए हैं आने वाले कुछ दिनों में ही आपके इन्हीं कैमरों के जरिए हम अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को भी बाहर आते हुए देखेंगे नहीं तो क्या होता कोई परिस्थिति आती है वो हमारे उत्तराधिकारी हैं हैं जो उत्तराधिकारी राजनीतिक उत्तराधिकारी होता है पारिवारिक उत्तराधिकारी होता है उसका उत्तराधिकारी होता है सबके अपने दायित्व होते हैं अगर उस राजनीतिक उत्तराधिकारी के दायित्व का हिसाब कर रहे हैं तो उसमें पेट में दर्द क्यों होता बीजेपी के ये तो उनका काम बीजेपी के पेट में दर्द क्यों हो रहा है वो अपनी व्यवस्था है अपनी व्यवस्था के आधार पर पार्टी के अंदर पार्टी का काम करते हैं वो उनका हक है अधिकार है And all of this comes as the national capital is battling various civic issues, including deluges during monsoon, sanitation crisis, poor air quality, and encroachment as far as water supply sanitation is concerned as well. Let's take you across each of these issues that Delhiites have been facing while all of these governance concerns are being discussed in the public domain. Let's take a quick look over the kind of statement that has been made over here. This is, of course, the water logging in several areas that we've seen during monsoons. These are the pictures we've seen in the national capital. Let's go on to the other issues that we're talking about. Of course, we know how UPSC students have drowned even. The sanitation crisis, where there's been a failure to maintain and clean the drains, that remains a concern. Of course, we saw this uh, you know, in terms of the inadequate sanitation infrastructure, despite achieving the ODF status. The waste management is another issue that has left much to be desired, as Delhi has once again missed the deadline to clear its three landfills. Mountains of garbage on the corners of Delhi continue. Chief Minister Kejriwal had promised to clear all landfills by the end of this year. Air quality continues to remain a massive, massive concern in the national capital. Multiple times that it has been the most polluted city in the world. Water supply, of course, remains a concern in many areas of Delhi. Of course, those pictures of people scrambling for water have been seen as well. Encroachment on roads leading to regular traffic jams that we've seen in the national capital in terms of augmenting the traffic infrastructure. There are serious questions that still remain. Let's quickly take this across to Teshri. Teshri, I'm told you're at a location where Manish Sisodia is uh, supposed to carry out a protest. But the larger question is this, in the midst of all of this uh, positioning of Manish Sisodia, perhaps the tallest leader of the Aam Aadmi Party, his comments surrounding Sunita Kejriwal notwithstanding, all of this politic is happening at the cost of the citizens of Delhi. So while they may be infighting within the Aam Aadmi Party, the citizens of Delhi are the real ones losing out. 
Absolutely, you see, it is very much ironical to see that on every second day we see a delight uh, a person who uh, either is uh, losing his life because of drowning or either because of electrocution or falling in the manhole or because of, because of water logging. So this particular crisis of civic apathy continues on one hand and on the other hand we see the kind of meetings taking place, the kind of celebrations happening and also now today this is the Padhyatra that is going to begin and in fact this is the constituency of uh, Saurabh Bharadwaj which is uh, uh, Kalkaji from where well, the Padhyatra of Mani Sisode is all set to begin from today and what we are also getting to know is that all the senior leaders are going to participate in this particular in this particular Padhyatra and back to back not only just for this particular Padhyatra but also we have seen the back to back meetings that were held despite the fact that the Delhi was suffering from the civic apathies on the same day when uh, when a child uh, when a child lost his life a 13 year child lost his life uh, because of a water logging he drowned in, in, in that particular area and on the same day there were meetings with the MPs, MLAs, uh, councillors and there the strategy was being decided about the upcoming Delhi elections. So you see it's very ironical on one hand where Amadmi party is deciding about the strategy of the election and on the other hand their own janta, their, their own common man is losing the lives because of the poor management of the Delhi government itself. Absolutely. Devshri, thanks so much for joining us with that quick update. As far as Manish Sisodia's protest march is concerned, we're going to keep coming back to you for more details on that. But let's quickly take this across to our guests who are joining us at the moment. We have with us Dr. Anil Gupta, spokesperson of the BJP. Also with us is Deshwata Nigam, lawyer. Joining us on the show also is Dr. Akash Deep Muni, political analyst. But I want to go first and foremost to Sanjeev Kaushik, political analyst. Sanjeev Kaushik ji, uh, केजरीवाल के जन्मदिन पे तो सब लोग सेलिब्रेट कर ही रहे हैं आम आदमी पार्टी की पार्टी तिहार जेल के बाहर सबने आज देखी लेकिन सवाल ये उठ रहा है कि एंड ऑफ द डे क्या आम आदमी पार्टी के अंदर कुछ सक्सेशन वॉर चल रहा है जिस तरह की टिप्पणी आई सिसोदिया जी की तरफ से लग रहा है कि अंदर कुछ खींचा चल रही है क्या हो रहा है आम आदमी पार्टी के अंदर देखिए मानो खींचा तानी चल रही हो या नहीं चल रही हो लेकिन सच बात यह है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी तो चाहती ही है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की चले तो कब किसको मंत्री बना दे किसको उप मुख्यमंत्री बना दे सवाल यह है कि अधिकार किसको है ये आम आदमी पार्टी को अधिकार है केजरीवाल जी जेल में थे विषम परिस्थिति में उनकी पत्नी ने कमान संभाला पार्टी मजबूत मजबूती के साथ पार्टी के साथ वो खड़ी रही जब जब जहां जहां जरूरत पड़ी वो खड़ी रही निश्चित तौर पे ये बात यदि मनीष सिसोदिया कह रहे हैं कि नहीं वो आएंगे वापस आएंगे और उनके बाद में इनका रोल राजनीति से खत्म हो जाएगा या राजनीति में यदि इनकी भागीदारी ही होनी होती तो फिर कौन रोक लेता वहां किस किसी ने अपोज तो किया नहीं था ये सारे मीडिया में कयास लगाए जा रहे थे कि नहीं तुरंत ये बनने वाली है तो कभी आतीसी मुख्यमंत्री बनने वाली है तो कभी कोई और बनने वाला है तो पार्टी दो खानों में बट गया है पार्टी टूटने वाला है ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जो रणनीति होती है उसी तरह से वो बहाने का प्रयास कर रहे थे और मीडिया उसी कयासों के दौर में जी रही जी सवाल ये जी सवाल ये उठ रहा है सर की एंड ऑफ द डे दिल्ली वालों को क्या इस पूरे गवर्नेंस को लेकर कहीं ना कहीं क्या दिल्ली वालों को प्रॉब्लम हुई एंड दैट इज अ लार्जर क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर अनिल गुप्ता स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ बीजेपी बीजेपी बार बार ये कयास लगा रही है प्रयास लगा रही है कि आम आदमी पार्टी के अंदर डिवीजन हो ताकि वो हेडलाइंस में आए और इसकी खबर बने लेकिन आपके जो भी इरादे हैं पूरे नहीं होंगे अनिल गुप्ता जी जवाब दीजिए संजीव कौशिक का गुड इवनिंग टू यू एंड ऑल दी वी एस सी वी एज ए बीजेपी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड वट इज गोइंग ऑन इन दम आदमी पार्टी बट वी थिंक इट इज ए फाइट फॉर दॉप टू पोजिशन वन एंड टू What happened when Kejriwal was out on the bail before the elections? He himself took this Sunita ji for campaigning. Has Manish Sisodia discussed with Kejriwal ji in the Tiyar prison that I am going to announce this? I think now as Sisodia ji is out of the Tiyar jail, he want to regain his position as number two in the government. Now second thing is there. Now he he is starting touring Delhi. I am requesting Sisodia ji to first tour his constituency. Of the Patpat Ganj, he is he is still an MLA. You know how many so many problems are there. It is a water logging, water huge water logging problem is there in, in Patpat Ganj area. The Gajipur uh, this uh, dumping yard is close to his constituency. The Shadra drain passes through his constituency, which which was not cleaned. The Yamna, the pollution is there, which is a part of the uh, which is near to his constituency. So many the Delhi is now facing so many civic problems, so many administration problems, but. After coming from the jail, he is just also as the other leaders of the Amadmi Party, he is in the media highlighting and not touring, not taking care of the constituency. He should first because he is still an MLA. He should first see the problems of the Patpatgan from where he is an MLA. But now it is a fight in the uh, Amadmi Party 
to regain the position of second position or first position. Okay. Because there's a lot of power struggle there. within the Ahmadi Party. Akash Di yes, respond yes. to that. And this power struggle is significant because the people of Delhi are suffering. There's poor uh, water quality. There are issues relating to waste management. There are issues relating to sanitation. There are issues relating to air quality even. None of those questions of Delhiites appear to be answered in the midst of all of this bickering. Madhavji, unfortunately, the power struggle that the Bharati Janta Party is talking about is the figment of their imagination, and nothing is real. Actually, when Arvind Kejriwal was out uh, on interim bail uh, by the Honorable Supreme Court, he clearly said in an interview that our, uh, Sunita Kejriwalji is just a bridge between the Chief Minister and the people of Delhi, and nothing else. And he himself said that her role is temporary. So when Shishodhya Ji says, that uh, there is no Bhai uh, Bhatija Vaad here, and Ahmadi Party has a culture of putting people's welfare first, then he's talking about the realistic uh, nature of Ahmadi Party. Now, uh, sure. Dr. Muni, may, I, may, I, just, may I just ask you a simple question? If that is indeed the case, why was Sunita Kejriwal seen campaigning in state after state, sir, in the Lok Sabha elections? If she's just a bridge between the party and the CM? If she's campaigning, then obviously that means she has a bigger role. No, she she is campaigning because she is in direct contact with the honorable chief minister and she wants to put forward the view and ideology of mm. party national convener to okay. all the party workers and the people who support us uh, you so she's a bridge uh, so between the uh, cm campaigning. and the party and she's also a bridge between the cm and the people okay and she is also the bridge between the national convener of anam Ahmadi party and the people so she okay. is a bridge as confirmed by the national convener himself Deshwadhan Nigam, is it that simple? She's just a bridge between the convener and the party. She's just a bridge between the convener and the people. She's just a, you know, a, a, a messenger in a sense. You know, this equation of a past struggle that is being drawn or the inference that is being drawn is totally wrong. Please respond well, to uh, Mr. Muni. Well, Madhav, one must realize that the matter is going on in the court and the possibility of being convicted is also there and acquittal is also there. So I think it's a long-term game. Nobody knows what will happen in the court. And therefore, they have to develop a, a leadership from within the family. So, which is a normal consequence, although it is their internal matter. And uh, Mr. Sushodhya is certainly apprehensive about his number two position, which he was always there, closest to right from the days of the NGOs where they were working together. And uh, certainly, he feels slightly threatened, and which is very obvious. How does he know the information that she, the moment he comes out, uh, her career will be over or things like that? It is for the party to decide in a meeting, in, in a group meeting. It is not an individual's decision. So what I can read is the slight apprehension in the tenor and tone of Mr. Sushodhya's statement today. Mm. And certainly governance is suffering in, in Delhi. There is no doubt the humongous issues which are there. But at the end of the day, I think this is a normal politics of pull and push and pulling each other down, which has also become a part of Aam Aadmi Party, which we see in other parties as well. So let us see how it pans out. But one must remember the possibility of conviction in the case going on. And in the larger perspective, if you see the role of Sunita Kejriwal may mm. come up as and when the conviction takes place or the acquittal takes place. Or in the meantime, what will be her role? Respond to that, Akash Dibuni. No one can prejudge what the courts will decide. He may be convicted, he may not be. But at the end of the day, there is a power struggle. There is a churning going on in Awadhi Party. And who is Manish Sisodia to decide what the role of Sunita Kejriwal will be is the question coming from Deshwadhan Nikam. Please respond to him. Uh, uh, I totally agree uh, that uh, we don't know when uh, the acquittal will happen. But we want the acquittal to happen as soon as possible. However, uh, to the responding to your question, it is not Manish Sisodia, but on the national convener, Arvind Kejriwal himself said in an interview that the role of Sunita Kejriwal is temporary. Now, when he has clarified, Shishodhya ji is just reiterating what the team says. And uh, we don't know the future, neither okay. you nor I. But at present, it seems it's temporary. Okay. At the present, it seems it's stable. You're, of course, entitled to hope that it will be an acquittal. Devsatha Nigam is equally entitled to hope that it will be a conviction. What the courts of law will decide remain to be seen. The only unfortunate part of this past struggle is that it's Delhiites who are suffering and for the reasons that we have explained why. Thanks so much for joining us, gentlemen, this evening.